Hi everyone, welcome to Congolese Music. Like I said, we are here to explore the beauty, the elegance, and the intricacy of Congolese music. Now, the piece I played at the beginning is actually rumba, sung by my lovely sister called Marimi Samu. And she, she, she done it with a brother called uh, De Baba. The song is, is entitled uh, Reconnaissance, but it's not actually the Reconnaissance that I done on my on a previous video. This is a completely different reconnaissance. So the songs played, I will explain into details. There's a rhythmic guitar that plays the rumba, and there is a, a solo that plays the so the riff that I played. So let's start with the rhythmic guitar and see how it is played. The rhythmic guitar plays this melody. You start with your sixth intervals here. Now I'm holding my C, I mean my B note and my G. So from C to G is the sixth interval. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth interval. So it's doing a trick here with the sixth interval on my G here. It's so quick. Let me bring it closer so you can see what I mean. So 
So it's so quick when you do it. So he does that. Dead easy. That's the melody. Let me explain the chords that, play, that are played here. You've got your G, which is your tonic. You've got your C, which is the fourth degree, so your, the subdominant. And then you play A minor. And then you play D. So, A minor. But it's not playing this D here. It's using the F sharp minor which is a relative. As a bass. So, the whole sequence goes He adds the seventh, that's optional if you want to add it. That's the, the riff for the seventh. I'll bring it closer so you can see. Now, let go to the solo, which is more intricate in the riff that are used. Now, to play it, you need to know several intervals here. It starts with the octaves, and then goes with the sixth intervals, and then it plays some of the intervals that you may discover today called the third. Now, they're not hard, just numbers. Third, because in, in the major scale of G, if I take one, two, three, third. I'll bring it closer so you can see. I'm in my G. If I play one, two, three, so there's my third. So your third intervals are widely used, especially in Congress music, you find them everywhere. Solis, all the solo players, they use them quite a lot. Now, it's with the octaves. So an octave is just taking one, taking similar notes, one higher tone and a low tone combined together. For example, on my, if I play my D here, this D, plus this D here together, that's an octave. So not complicated, just two notes, which are similar, but with different intonation. So it goes, bring it closer so that you can see. The sixth already, after the intervals, after the octaves. So I'm playing with my C, uh, C sixth intervals here. Let's start again. I'm starting again from the beginning. Then it plays with the seventh, which is your F here. Mm -hmm. 
I'll, I'll repeat again. Again. The second time it goes. I'm just playing with my octaves, nothing complicated. Just octaves there. And then it plays the G major scale here. So you've got your A minor here. And then it uses the third intervals, but from here, backwards let's go let me start from the beginning so that you get the whole idea I kind of added it. I'm just playing with my third intervals from G to A minor. Simple. But then the, the core melody that he plays at the end goes like this. That's that's actually it's so beautiful when the rhythmic guitar is playing underneath it and then you on top of it, it sounds really good. So it goes like this. Starting from your G here, you're going backwards. Let me bring it closer so that you can see. I'll go slowly. And then it plays what we call a mi solo, which is something between the rhythm guitar and the, the solo guitar or the solo tone. So it goes. So I'm playing for my, my, my G here. Remember, this is G here, but I'm playing it from backwards. Here's my A minor. Remember that all the all the melody that the solo is playing is based on that sequence. A minor, G, D, and you go back to G. So by doing there's the A minor. There's my D. So the whole sequence. He plays some other stuff like it's it's just something to to kind to kind of give your solo a, a different vibe. It's not that complicated. So it's it's still on the on the G scale. You go. You play.
Now the trick, the, the other trick that I played at the end was not played in the song. When I was learning to play the song, uh, it just came in my mind. So I thought I can incorporate it. That's what most of the time when I learn a new thing, I try to add something that is mine in it. So what I played was like this. I, I, I just used the same third intervals and, and the melody was like this. So I'm still playing with my G. Let me play the whole sequence or the whole, the whole melody so that you get the vibe of it. I'll play it with the rhythm guitar as a backing track. Go. So thank you very much for watching. It was a pleasure to kind of spend a week time with you to go through this song. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like I said, if you have any question, don't forget to comment below this video. You can follow us on Facebook. Our Facebook is still the same. Congolese Music. You can still find a link to the Facebook page at the bottom of this video. So I will catch you on the next session. Ciao.